Once we complete a project with Tileuk, we can also export some 2D or 3D drawing files which can be useful to share with architects or other colleagues that use other CAD, Vector and 3D software like AutoCAD, SketchUp, Revit, Archicad and so on. On Tileuk, you can click on this tool here uh, to export to CAD. This is called Export Layout. Uh, when we click here, the program asks us to uh, select or to create a new folder. Uh, I suggest that you create a new folder by clicking here, uh, since this uh, tool will create various files and it's better to keep them organized. So I'm going to create a folder here called CAD Files. Okay, and then click on Choose to confirm. Okay, so Tileuk is saving uh, some images and some files and then opens uh, the folder. You can see that there are many files. There are actually uh, two files for every surface of the project. Uh, there is a PNG image. See, this for example is the flooring in a PNG file. It's a simple image. Uh, and uh, corresponding to the PNG image, so with the same name, we have instead uh, a DXF file. And this is a standard CAD format that we can open by uh, any CAD and vector program like AutoCAD. Okay, so this is the DXF file open in a CAD software. This is an AutoCAD, but it's a similar uh, CAD tool. And you can see uh, this file is uh, the flooring, complete with the texture image, but also the lines corresponding to all uh, the grout lines for my tiles. So if you are uh, an expert CAD user, you could continue working here to do some other modifications or add uh, annotations to this drawing and so on. You can also export your project to a 3D file. Uh, to do this, we click on this other uh, tool next to the previous one, and this is uh, export to SketchUp. Uh, SketchUp is the most uh, used 3D modeling program in the world with millions of user, users. So a uh, SketchUp file can be opened by all the main 3D programs. Uh, so apart from SketchUp, there is also Revit, Archicad, uh, 3D Studio, and so on. Uh, so we simply need to choose where we want to save our SketchUp file. So for example, on my desktop. And then uh, I'm going to give it a name. So test, for example. I can choose which SketchUp format I prefer, so from starting from 2015 up to 2018, which is the latest version, and then click on Save. Uh, this process will take up some minutes, uh, depending on um, how many geometries are contained in this project, how many textures, how many models, and how, also how big is this project in general. Uh, so, and once, once done, we'll be able to open this file in SketchUp. Okay, so once done, uh, we can open this file in SketchUp. This is SketchUp right now. Uh, like you see here, uh, this is a full 3D tool. We have all the same objects, all the same textures. So uh, you can modify and change this project or maybe uh, insert it into a bigger uh, project of a building uh, or use it to make a 3D print or whatever you want to do on SketchUp or other uh, 3D tools. Tileuk also allows to import 3D files of complete rooms directly from SketchUp and from other uh, 3D formats. Uh, to do this, we simply need to go on File, choose Import 3D Room, uh, select the file we want to import. I have, for example, this SketchUp file here. Click on Import. And then uh, we just need to uh, follow the steps. Uh, so we can verify the room, we can uh, rotate it in a different way if it's not rotated properly, uh, we can edit the dimensions if they are not correct or need to be scaled, and then uh, when we finish we have our imported uh, 3D room, and so we can start working on it to place objects, uh, place tiling, do the render and everything else we can do on Tileuk. If you are interested in this topic, uh, you can also click on the link included at the end of this video to see a more detailed tutorial about using Tileuk and SketchUp together.